Wow, welcome back. Um, what are you gonna do with all that chicken? 1.5 quarantine home ecker. Um, welcome again. Thanks for the resounding, uh, you know, comments. And um, I just love it. And I think I'm really loving just being able to connect with you guys. Um, so the main thing I wanna talk about today is logistics because that's what makes cooking so easy and that probably is why my wife keeps me around. So today um, I'm taking some ideas from uh, my good old friend Joe Clemens. Um, he wants piccata, which is stupid simple, and you might actually have those capers around. Um, piccata just means thinly sliced. They usually dredge it in flour, saute it, and it thickens up. But we've grilled all our chicken yesterday because we're smart because that's a way to preserve it. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a little modified version. And then I'm doing my favorite chicken salad recipe from Don Gregory. Yes, I was paying attention all those years. Uh, Chef Don made this amazing chicken salad in the height of my college career. Again, I'm sorry, Chef. And um, I've taken that with me to every property I've had. It's delicious and stupid simple. And we can do it all at once. So the first thing I wanna do is, is get the water boiling because that's gonna take the longest, right? And cardinal rule number million in my kitchen is boil the whole bag of pasta. So I've got rolling water going. I've got, I've got like lots of salt in there. So this is a gallon and a half water. I've got at least a half a cup of salt. And then I've just got these egg noodles. We're gonna boil all of them because you boil all your pasta and that way you don't get hit by flying spaghetti coming off the cupboard from you. Um, which is funny because I keep all of my pasta in a drawer. Um, and I just dump my pasta in, I give it a nice stir, make sure that it's not sticking to the pot or anything like that. And then I'm just gonna listen behind me as I'm cooking the chicken. Um, I know it's hard to believe I have like all this good chicken here. Um, by the way, Laura Sage brought up a good point. Thank you, my dear old friend about recycling. Um, downtown Grand Rapids, a lot of our stuff goes in the incinerator. Right now, everything's kind of tricky. So I've been kind of lazy, but she's right, I'm wrong. This is the best time to do our efforts to making sure that we're reduced reusing and recycling as much as we can. Um, so the cool thing is, is I've got this delicious chicken. My hands were washed, by the way. I sang myself happy birthday again. And I'm pulling out four chicken breasts from all that chicken I made. I still have three of these left. And I separated these because I wanted to keep all the juices from yesterday as well, because that's gonna go into the base of our piccata. And this is just really, really, really good flavor. And again, reduce, reuse, recycle. Don't throw away flavor. Um, Again, it's great because we're going to dirty up the cutting board once and we're going to call it a day. So, first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to turn on the heat just a little bit lower. Now then with piccata, what's cool is, is, is you really get to almost have an inherent roux or thickening agent with the flour. We don't have that, so feel free to thicken this up, but I love piccata, so um, I'm okay with it not being so thick. I've got my um, capers right here, which are great. I'm just going over here. I'm not using a calendar or anything like that. I'm just giving them a shake. You know, they say rinse the brine and all that. I want that brine in my flavor. So I'm cool with that, right? Um, these little jars are so good for like making your own salt, putting, you know, a cardamom pod in there and having um, some kosher salt in the house. Give it a month, month and a half, and the salt's gonna take on all that flavor. Um, so you don't have to buy seasoned salt. Um, and then I've got that kind of shaking in this pan right here. I've got my pasta bowling. I'm stirring that. Are you getting the rhythm of this short, stocky white guy? It's pretty good, huh? You always stir, you always chuck in. And right now, I've got these chicken breasts. And so then what I'm doing is, is I'm gonna slice mine thin-ish, all of them, because some of them are cubed for our chicken salad, right? And my wife is more of a small bites, I'm kind of a big bites, 
So all I've got here are smaller bites of chicken to go in the chicken salad. And so then there's one chicken breast in the bowl. Yay. And then I usually take like that kind of weird chicken breast that's perfect for chicken salad and whatnot. And I'm just giving this a slice. Okay, one cutting board and call the day. Gail Force was like all freaked out, you know, about cross contamination. But that was why I did it yesterday because I had one cutting board and I just had one raw chicken out. So now this is all cooked. So now we're not really worried about Uncle Sal flying through the air, Uncle Sal Manila, right? I'm taking off the knuckles off the chicken, which is still my ultimate favorite piece to eat, especially off the grill. I'm gonna put those to the side. I'm gonna take all my yummy crummies right here. And then I'm gonna wash my hands real quick because now I've got something fun to show you. I've got a couple tricks that I picked up back in the day. My my whole butcher block has been cleaned and sanitized, by the way. Just wanted to let you know. And then what I've done is, is, is I've got these grapes, first and foremost. And one's on the floor, but that's okay. I've used the bag already as a calendar twice to clean these bad boys, right? And all I'm doing is plucking these grapes. And to this day, I think that this is the secret to this delicious recipe that... I used to sneak in the walking cooler and eat it by two spoonfuls at a time. Um, it's so good. Um, I think it just provides that juiciness. And then I've got this, I've got that. And now, I hope you can see it, I've got a bread knife. Look, if you feel your bread knife touching your hand, stop cutting. But look at this, all I'm doing is, is I put my hand down and I'm gonna do this just in case you can't see. And I'm just going to, you know, some guys in the kitchen and some ladies, um, I, I think it's mostly the guys are worried about cutting themselves. You can do this on a upside down plate. There's a million ways to do this, right? And now I've got that. That just happened. And I don't know about you, but we love spring onions in our house. And you know, I'm planning for World War II. These are great. You can do this the same way as the bag. I use this almost like my dad's Bel Air cigarettes where I'm just gonna pull out what I need right there, okay? And now I've got limited oxygen going to there and I'm keeping that in my fridge. I'm keeping that towards the top so that it doesn't get all icky. Now then, I've got my knife. I'm cutting off the top of the scallions or green onions or spring onions. And then I'm just going and cutting down. Now you can take your time. Someone mentioned scissors yesterday. Obviously you can totally use scissors on this. My preference is, is if you're gonna use scissors, um, just use scissors um, for herbs. Meats concern me because I wanna make sure that everything has been cleaned and sanitized and scissors. I just never know if I'm getting it in there. Um, I'm taking a peek at this right here. And like I said, I like a lot of spring onions. And again, I'm cooking with my ears. I'm listening for that water to kind of roll, which it is already, which is wicked cool. And I'm already, believe it or not, because I knew it was to take two seconds to cook, I'm already looking for them to be done and they are you guys yeah that just happened so al dente is a real thing okay it's a very real thing we want to make sure that our pasta is ultra firm nobody likes mush i'm doing that okay and I'm having our piece because it's my family and it's my home and trust me, we're close enough. So now I can really smell the bocata. Recipe calls for about a half a cup of butter. This is a brilliant time to get rid of 
the butter that has been hanging out in your dish, right? And we'll just do this, you know, because we don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to have the butter just oil. I want it more creamy with this sauce because we've got that going, right? So I've got my butter and I'm thinning it down. Um, Joe, I hope you don't mind. Both Joe and I are trying to keep it somewhat healthier, but you do need a lot of fat in this dish. So I am literally adding olive oil with the butter. Um, and it just, it's gonna make your piccata creamier, right? And more delicious. And you still got the butter flavor. Notice I'm not putting any salt in here because you know what? Those are brinies, right? I'm cutting my lemons. I've got two, so lucky to have them right now. And that's wicked cool. And if not, you know what? Seriously, I'm not gonna judge you. Whatever you got that's lemony, you know? If you got, if you got the little real lemon or the squeezes of lemon and lime juice in your fridge, I get it. Um, that's totally cool. I'm just really lucky to have this. And you know, who says you have to have lemon? If you like a little bit of orange or you've got that grapefruit hanging around, any citrus is gonna be good in this. And that's what we're really gonna learn is, is we're gonna learn to use what, with what we have, right? So with that, I've got that delicious lemon juice. I'm just putting that to the side. I don't have fresh, I don't have fresh herbs right now, you guys. And you know what? I'm not gonna call myself out for not having fresh parsley right now, but I can do a sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm doing a lake effect because that's where, you know, we just go on top like that. And notice that the residual heat from the pan is really taking that to a new level, which is super cool, I think at least. And I'm not even gonna heat this up anymore. I'm turning I'm turn my stove top off because what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm going to almost make cutlets out of the chicken piccata to mimic what a chicken piccata would be. And we call this cutting on a bias, right? Because that's kind of cool. And what's really great about when you do this, one, I got a Pomeranian down here. There you go, Tobes. Um, the cool thing about that is, is how cool is that for a sandwich? So whatever we don't eat at dinner tonight, we can have chicken piccata sandwiches with a little bit of, a, you know, a little bit of Dijon maybe, a little bit of whatever we've got hanging out. And so I've got my pasta right here. I'm doing this, putting it in my casserole. Um, and I'm gonna put it right here, I'm gonna push this forward. And then, seriously, how stupid is that piccata sauce? I don't even want to hear about it. If you can smell the lemon, you'd be loving it, right? And I am seriously the silver spatula. Thank you, TJ Fridays and Tommy Allen. Remember Tommy Allen, you and I with the suspenders and the stripes? They always called this the silver spatula when we had, when we had to set up our... Um, Salad station, because you don't want to waste anything. It's it's that was the profit of the company. And look at that. Look how good that looks. And it's just fresh. And I'm gonna do definitely do fresh ground pepper. And you can taste it, you know, if you decide you like salt or whatnot. That's okay too. We like a lot of pepper in our family. If you decide it needs more butter, more olive oil, you can still do it with the residual heat. And then I'm just gonna do this, right? Make that look kind of pretty. That kind of pretty-ish, right? Not perfect, you guys. Nothing has to be perfect right now. We all just need love and empathy right now. And then boom, look at that. That's kind of cool. I'm putting this in my chicken salad because, you know, whatever. And then, um, you know what else? I'm gonna steal a couple green onions from my chicken salad, cause you know, there's our piccata, boom. That's dinner tonight, we're gold. I'm gonna rinse off my hands. And we're gonna go for, now, I'm gonna go for 
clean cutting board, which I have, which is right below me for our TV magic. And what's really fun is, is as I rinse my knife off, um, again, there's been no raw chicken, but I've got soap and water and a sponge. And I'm just kind of cleaning this. And I always just kind of do the towel switch. I don't have matching towels for a reason. So now I know that this is a clean dish towel. This is kind of my towel to clean. And this, celery. I've already washed this whole head and I keep it in here, right? Because it's already inherently a colander at the bottom with the holes. And then that way, I just kind of, it's almost like a push pop. Um, you know, the kind you get at um, the ice cream man. And now with the, the salad, I love sliced thin celery. I love, love, love celery. It's awesome. And I'm just eyeballing it. I'm like going, I want as much as um, the grapes because it's a chicken salad. I like chicken salad with a ton of crunch, right? And that's cool too if you, you're more like, well, I'm more of a meat and potatoes type guy. That's totally cool. Now then, I think I've got a good blend here. At least I'm happy with it. And then you can, you can put in some more red onion if you want, but I do my spring onions first because they're, they're really potent. So I got enough onion in here. Seasoned salt, Old Bay, you'll never leave me. Um, again, any seasoned salt you want. Um, I think I have it right here. Um, this stuff, um, thanks mom and mom, Ship Shawana, it's great too. But I like this cause it's got like, it must have paprika in it cause it's got the color. And I seriously, I just totally like affected that bad boy. And then Lots of pepper, fresh ground, if you got it. Um, and go easy on your salt and peppers. You're gonna find out kosher salt, bigger grains, you can add a little bit more. Smaller grains like Morton kosher salt or table salt, less salt, and pepper, same thing. You got that can of pepper, that's okay, but you don't need as much, all right, because it's just gonna, it's gonna hit you in the face. And then, Good old mayonnaise. Now then, if you guys aren't living the dream with mayonnaise and ranch and you live in Michigan, you might just wanna move. So I'm putting, I'm putting about a cup in here, right? I'm gonna leave that there. I've got my spoon for mixing and I'm just gonna do this. And here's the deal, I eyeball it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna need a little bit more because at the end of the day, it's gonna totally um, soak into um, the chicken. And if you are um, using dried fruit, which is totally cool, you know, whatever fruit you got on your pantry, use, people love dried cherries, it's a lot easier than doing the grapes. But I just like it to be like, almost like, man, I could set some bricks with this. And that's about good, all right? So, veal piccata, chicken piccata, whatever piccata you wanna do, means thinly sliced, but we're using grilled chicken, it's gonna be a little bit healthier. Chicken salad, not the healthiest thing, really drag it through the garden. Um, I love it on top of a ton of greens with cucumber and tomato call today. And then one final thing is on your mayonnaise, when my mayonnaise gets to be about like that, I just add, you could add your packet of ranch and make it right here and shake it because I'm gonna put this in the fridge and you can hear me, but then you always have your rotating ranch and you can write on a Sharpie your date, which we do. And that way, you always know if your ranch is fresh, it's good, it's not just from a jar, and you're done. Um, again, you guys, we got three whole chicken breasts, which is more than enough for two full meals. Um, some people have talked about spaghetti. 
Um, yeah, you can totally put this with red sauce and whatnot. Um, maybe tomorrow we'll do an Alfredo. Let me know. I have this chicken. What do you want me to do with it? I guess that's it. What's cool is, is you don't really have to worry about, you know, the second finish part. There's your finish. We got some sal. We got some piccata. You can finish it with some cheese put it in the oven. Call it a day. Um, wash your hands. Stay safe. Um, and I just, I'm, I want to make sure that you're not wasting your food. So, um, with great taste, Chef Tommy, out.